Perry of the circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Carmen. Only alto. Alto? That means to stop. Okay. I guess that's the first thing I should have learned to say in Spanish. It would have saved me an awful rough ride. Oh, you were <laughs> bouncing, eh, Jerry? Yeah. I'll say I was. It's harder to stay up on an elephant's head when he's running than it is to ride a bucking bronco. <laughs> oh, 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 he's all right, Rags. Rags, you might. It, it's all your fault. Yes, it is. What do you mean, Jerry? <laughs> Poor Rags did not make El Mundo run so fast. El Mundo, he is used to dogs. Uh, it's like this, Carmen. Uh, Jerry wanted Rags to quit chasing after El Mundo, and he yells, Vamos to him. Yeah, and El Mundo thought I meant it for him. Oh, yeah. oh that is too bad. Never say vamos. That means, uh, how you say, beat it, run fast. <laughs> yeah, I found that out. <laughs> well, come on, let's get this fellow back where he belongs in the menagerie. I will go along with you, yeah. Yes? Come along. Sure, Carmen. Come on, Rags. Well, my first elephant ride was sure a fast one. But you will never be afraid now. That was good it happened so. Oh, Mundo didn't seem afraid. All the people shouting at him and all the excitement and... Well, he kept right on going around and around the backyard. I, I bet he liked it. I mean, all that commotion. Oh, sure. <laughs> he liked to be the whole show. He's smart, El Mundo. Yeah. And he is not afraid of anything. Yeah. Well, here we are in here, El Mundo. Oh. Now, quit talking back to El Mundo, Rags. See, I got a right smart story about an elephant. I think it's the smartest elephant I ever heard tell of. Tell us about it. Oh, sure I will. This elephant really figured something out all by himself. Oh, here, wait till I fasten El Mundo down. There you go, El Mundo. Ha, he's getting a welcome from the rest of the herd. Sure. Yeah. He get along with the rest fine. They all like El Mundo. All right, there you are. You going to tell us a story now? Yeah. Or, uh, sure you got time, Carmen? Oh, I have always got time to hear a good elephant story. <laughs> I love to hear about them. Good. And sit down here on this bale of hay. Sit here, Carmen. Okay, Jerry. There we are. Well, now, this is a true story, and it happened many years ago when I was just a young fellow. In a circus? Yep. First outfit I ever joined up with. I got me a job as an elephant guard right off. And you did not know anything about them? No, but I sort of took to them. As a kid, I always had a hankering to be around the big critters, and 
As I took to them, why, so they took to me. I never had a run-in with a bull yet. Well, go ahead with the story. Okay. Well, to start with, the elephant's name was Hilda. And as pretty a cow elephant as you've ever seen. Nice and gentle, too. Never had a run-in with nobody. The fellow that had charge of her was a lad named uh, Shorty. I forget his last name. And he and Hilda was just regular pals. Like right, you and Gertie, huh? Yeah. At one time, we we took on a new man. One of those nitwits that gets a kick out of teasing animals. And he teased Hilda, I guess? Oh, uh, teased her is right. He made poor Hilda's life miserable for no reason at all. Oh, what did he do? Well, one thing is get her goat. He'd, he'd put her feed down in front of her, just out of her reach. She'd tug at her chains and reach out her trunk, but she couldn't get at it. Oh, that is mean, Dream. Mean is right. All the other elephants in the line eating away, and poor Hilda trying her best to get her food. Oh, well, did she get even with them? Come to that, Jerry. Uh, there's more to the story. Shorty, Shorty, he was awful ticklish. <laughs> a man ticklish? Yeah, touchiest fellow I've ever seen. Why, if you just point a finger at him and walk towards him, he'd squirm around some fierce. Oh, oh, that must have been funny. <laughs> well, you know, all the fellas got a kick out of that. They used to have fun with Shorty by sneaking up behind him and then grabbing him and then tickling him good. But they always had to be careful to stay in back of him, though. Why? Well, because when Shorty'd get tickled, he'd, he'd strike out and hit anything in front of him. He, he couldn't help it. Why, if he had a sledgehammer in his hands and... Somebody tickled him, he'd hit whatever was in front of him with that hammer, man, woman, or child. But, but what about the elephant, Hilda? Well, that's all part of the story, Carmen. You see, uh, Hilda, Hilda knew Shorty was ticklish. She'd watch some of the fellas having fun with him. Well, this whole story is just to show you how smart an animal can be, how they can, you know, figure things out for themselves. Mm, boy, I'll say they're smart. Well, now, you just listen to this, Jerry. Well... One day, when this guard that was teasing Hilda come into the menagerie and walked over to the elephant line, Shorty was right on the spot. And he had a big stake in his hand, you know, like a big club? Well, sir, Hilda kept her eyes on both Shorty and this fella she had it in for. And when her enemy got right in front of Shorty, she put out her trunk as quick as a flash and tickled Shorty right under the arm. And Shorty, he hit the fellow with the claw. <laughs> exactly. Oh. <laughs> he hit out at that guy and beat him something awful. Well, what do you know about that? <laughs> yeah, I'll just bet Hilda waited for that chance a long, long time. She knew Shorty would hit that fellow she didn't like. Oh, yes, I bet she knew it. She figured it out all by herself. They are very smart. Oh, I should say smart as a whip. Well, what happened to Shorty? Did he get in trouble for beating that fella? Oh, no, no, Jerry. Everybody knew it wasn't his fault. He didn't mean to hit out that way. He just couldn't help it when he got tickled. And besides that fellow, he had it coming. It was good for him. Yes, sir, Carmen, you bet it was. And he behaved himself from then on, too. Why, do you know, he even made up with Hilda. And after that, they become good friends. Mm, she got even, and that's all she wanted. <laughs> that's right. Say, while I think of it, I, I once heard that elephants like to eat coal. Is that true, Olson? Oh, sure it is, Jerry. They, they just love to crunch on a piece of coal. And why not? We like to chew on a piece of hard candy now and then. But coal isn't candy. <laughs> Might be to an elephant. They seem to like the taste of it. <laughs> that was a good story about Hilda. Have you got one more good story to tell us? Uh, well, now, let's see, Carmen. I don't seem to recall. Then I have one for you. This one is about a baby elephant. Oh, good. Go ahead and tell it. This happened in Europe when I was little girl. One time it was raining very much, and we have to put boards across a little, how you say it, a little stream. Yeah, a little stream. Yeah. And it was like a little bridge they make so we can cross over. Uh, oh, was it deep? Oh, no, not so deep. But about ten feet to the bottom or mm. maybe six. Well, what happened? Well, we were going across. First a few horses... And then the guard with the baby elephant. Hmm? But just before the baby get to the other side, the boards break. And the baby elephant fall down through the broken boards into the stream with stones and oh. everything. Oh, that's, uh, that's a bad fall for a baby bull, too. Was he hurt, Carmen? Yes, Jerry, he was hurt pretty bad. He get the bruise and the broken boards, they hurt him, too. Oh, I imagine they would. Well, uh, how'd they get him out of the stream and back up on the road again? Then? Oh, they have to get other elephants and horses and a lot of men. And then they have to pull him up. Oh, that must have been real exciting, all right. Oh, he was a sick baby elephant for a long time. They put lots of liniment on him, but he did not get well. He would only lay down and not stand up at all. Well, he must have been hurt worse than they thought. No. You know what it was? Oh, what why? was it? All the time, the trainers are making his legs well. Yeah. 
But they do not understand what is wrong. Well, yeah, but uh, what, what was it? He keep putting his trunk up to his eye, but nobody look there. And his eye was sore, huh? Yes. A piece of broken board was in his eye, and that's what was the trouble all the time. And then when they fix that, he make a loud cry, and he was happy. <laughs> Oh, you just got to love them when you hear so many things about how clever they are. And El Mundo is more clever than all of them. Yeah. You will see, Olson. You <laughs> will be glad he joined up with you. <laughs> you think we'll be able to work together all right, Carmen? Oh, sure, Jerry. You will make a big hit when you are working with El Mundo. Of course, you must give him the right command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jerry found that out. <laughs> I'll say I did. Yeah, you got to learn elephant lingo in Spanish. Hey, look at it. Here comes Carlos. Oh, oh. yes. It is Carlos. Here we are. Over here by El Mundo, Carlos. Oh, yeah, he sees us. Here, Reyes, come here. Kind of glad to see your friend Carlos, huh? Carlos, you should have been here. What a time we have had with this old friend of ours. Who? What do you mean? El Mundo. He run away with Jerry here. Yes, I bet. Ah, you not fool, Carlos. El Mundo is best elephant in the world. I just see him run off with Jerry. No, honest, Carlos. We gave him the wrong command. Yeah, I'll and... say. We tried to get him to stop, but none of us could think of the word in Spanish. No. Really? You're not fool, Carlos? If I had not been around here, perhaps they'd be 50 miles away by now. So, <laughs> for once, Jerry, not know what to say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I knew what to say, all right, but a lot of good it does when you have foreigners around. Foreign elephants, I mean. <laughs> I guess perhaps we better keep quiet, Carlos. Uh, I keep quiet? No, Carmen, I have too much to say. You know, give me chance, but I have big news. Yes? I have just received telegram that is very important. What is it? Yes, Carlos, do not keep the news to yourself. What is the telegram? It is maybe the turning point in our lives. But quick now, there is no time to lose. We must get Alfredo and go quick to Mr. Randall. Oh, what's Mr. Randall got to do with it? I will tell you all about it later, Jerry, as soon as we know for sure. It beats all get out what you're trying to say, Carlos. I, I, I can't figure it out. Carlos, you tell us now, yes? Please, Carmen, you come with me now. We find Alfredo and see Mr. Randall. Everything depends on him. Go ahead, Carmen, and find out what this is all about. You will see. It is the most important thing that has ever happened to Bendini's. Hurry, hurry, come. Thank you.